So today we're going to talk about the Li Lexus Hybrid Drive. So the Lexus Hybrid self-charging hybrid lineup. So a couple things that we need to know about that. So you're going to have your standard gas engine here. So the one we are looking at is an NX, which is typically a two liter turbo. However, with this one, um, you get your standard gas side, but then you're going to have an electric motor tied into it. Now, as far as maintenance and everything goes, you have a little more coolant, half a liter, a liter or so, but otherwise exactly identical um, as far as your everyday costs and maintenance and things like that. Take a quick look. Now they are a CVT transmission. That's one of the other differences. A couple other things you're going to have. Um, obviously you get the hybrid badging down the sides of the doors. Any of the Lexus models that are hybrid. And this would go for Toyota as well. Um, they have the blue symbols. And then one other thing that's kind of different is you do have in the back here um, you have these vents which are going to be on both NX's however on a hybrid model this vent is actually used where it's the intake for the battery because the battery is actually under the rear seats so that you always want to make sure that that stays clear um, because you need airflow and then you're going to find that on both sides now as you can see in the front unlike a conventional gas engine where you have the starter battery that actually starts the vehicle. On a hybrid system, you're gonna have that in the back, just underneath here. So it still does have a normal battery that starts the car, relatively cheap, just like any other one. You know, you might have to replace it every five or six years or depending how much driving and how your charge and everything is. But um, that one is just strictly for starting the car and turning lights and stuff on not for actually driving it now another major difference between a standard hybrid and a gas model is in the NX or any of the all-wheel drive is down below here you have a set a third motor that's actually just under the end or under the between the rear wheels so you don't have to worry about um, noise from the drive shaft running underneath because your front and rear wheels are actually not connected on a hybrid all-wheel drive Lexus or Toyota um, because you actually have a third engine so you're gonna get your gas engine your electric engine that runs the front wheels and then the third over in the back you get that electric engine that just basically runs the uh, the rear wheels there only so at highway speed an nx hybrid is basically front wheel drive now as far as charging wise go they are self-charging whenever you hit the accelerator pedal um, the vehicle is going to move forward it's going to draw power from the battery to the electric engine and power the wheels every time you're slowing down however or even if you're at a constant speed where it just doesn't need the acceleration, it's going to use the momentum of the car and actually recharge the battery. Which is why, and when it does that, basically the best way to describe it, um, we have one of those old flashlights and you crank it up and it makes the flashlight turn. A uh, hybrid system in its simplest form is just that now interior wise here hybrids gonna give you charge eco power mode um, you do have the equal normal sport mode um, and then depending like here you're gonna see right now it's drawing off the engine charging the battery so the gas engine is actually on if we select that you're going to see so with this you can see the two electric motors and then the battery so right now because the it's cold outside basically um, your electric your standard gas motor is heating the vehicle up but when that's on it's also going to use that to charge the 
using the two battery motors um, to recharge the battery up as well because it wants to use as much power as possible. Um, and then if it was the other way around and we were driving forward, um, it would go the other way. Oh, there you go. Um, it would go the other way and then you would see the, you'll actually see it go from the battery to the wheels as opposed to charging it the other way. Couple, I guess that's really the biggest difference and then you get the energy monitor. So if you have any questions about the hybrid system, how it charges or anything like that, you can comment and link down below and make sure you please subscribe and uh, like the video because it helps with the Google Analytics and everything too. Thanks for watching. This is Mike Linterman here at Lexus South Point in Edmonton, Alberta. Have a great day.